What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in this quick video, I'll be showing you how to change your field of view in Metro Exodus. While it is about a year old, I'm quite sure there's a couple of you getting it on sale currently. And if you're feeling a bit claustrophobic with the low 60 default field of view, you may want to raise it a bit. However, I do have to preface this video. If you raise your field of view by a little bit or a lot, quite a few things actually break. When you pull out your binoculars, there's a weird overlay that doesn't take up your entire screen. When you get hit, the same thing, and a couple of other issues that you may find really annoying. But we'll get there in just a bit. So how do we change our field of view? Well, first of all, open up a new file browser with start and E. When it opens up, simply head into your C drive, then users, then locate your username. For me, it's techno. Then inside of here, scroll down, look for saved games and open it up. Then Metro Exodus, followed by whatever number this is over here. This is your Steam ID. Open it up and we see a whole bunch of files here. You should only have one folder unless you've played it on multiple Steam accounts on your computer. Then what we're looking for is user.cfg. You can simply double click on it to open it with Notepad or you can open it with something like Notepad++ if you'd like. Scrolling past all of these keybinds, we get to the section down here. What we're simply looking for to change the field of view is simply r underscore base underscore fov 60 full stop. This is the default. All we have to do is change the number here. Don't worry about the full stop, it'll be replaced later on. We can change this number to anything we want. Now something I've noticed is you can't set this above 100. When you do, it seems to default back down to 60. However, you can set this down as low as you want, even to about 1, which is incredibly stupid. Here's a screenshot of what 1 field of view looks like and 10 field of view. I'll set this up to like 80. Simply save it with Control S and then open up the game. Speaking of tips, if you'd like to start the game without an intro screen, check the description down below. Either way, I'll be continuing my game. And there we go, we're now in game with 80 field view. So of course, while there is an upper limit of about 80 to 90 field view, there doesn't seem to be a lower limit as you can push it down as low as 1 or 2. But one of the things that I mentioned was the weird overlay. If I put on my binoculars, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You can raise this up to 90 and you'll even see through on the bottom and the top. Zooming in and out is rather strange and completely immersion breaking. The same thing if you get damaged, such as putting on your gas mask, taking it off, you can see a bit through it, and of course when you get damaged. It is very odd and completely immersion breaking in my experience. So would I recommend changing your field view to be higher? Probably not. Would you want to change it lower? Well, of course you can if you want to. So besides the obvious caveats of using this, you can change it if you'd really like to and you don't mind the immersion being broken. If you're lowering your FPS for some reason, well, then this is your answer. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.